quite a good book. Yeah! Oh my, Richard. It seems we've uh, found a friend. Following me out of the cave, are you? Ah, a little Breton, perhaps? Adorable. It's quite a big warhammer for such a little lady. Oh, yes. I lift you up with the tip of my dagger. <laughs> ah, that's fun. You're fun. Oh, Richard, many hedge wizards and whatnot in that cave. Quite an interesting thing. I should like to go back to the priest. I want to stay. Speaking anger. of that wizards, anger keeps me going. He wants to stay. Well, you must go. I've looked everywhere. Brother Martin, please. I wondered if you'd come back. I admit I've had my doubts about your story. Why do you doubt me, brother? I've closed the Oblivion Gate for you. I've I've carried you this far to let you know that this is true what I'm saying. You are the heir. If you need me to hold your hand and take you back to Wayne and Priory, I will do it. You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You mm -hmm. gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Of course. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory and hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. Thank you, my friend. It's possible. It's possible. Uh, maybe she got out and she's looking for come you. Come along, too. Richard. You you can How carry two. Like Let's go, brother oh, Joffrey. Ah. And trouble is brewing, even as we help? arrive. You must help! They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. What are you talking about? Ho slow down. Tell Brandar what's happening. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Mabarel is dead. Mm. Who is attacking? Do you know? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers. Ordinary. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. Hmm. Do you know where Joffrey is? I have brought uh, someone to Ooh. meet him. I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us! So I shall, my friend. Stand fast. Down. Interesting. I recognize this armor. Yes. These agents. I think they are sent. Who was sent to kill the emperor? Now they are after Brother Joffrey. Ah. Ah, oh, now he gets into the fight. Well done, Brother Martin. Ah, oh, now we must find Joffrey as soon as possible. The constable. Okay, please keep an eye on my horse, constable. Brother Joffrey. Brother Martin, let us go find Brother Joffrey. The chapel. Maybe here? Oh my. Oh, poor Prior Mabel. Hmm. I'll make sure this coin finds good use, my friend. Thank you so much. Ah. Someone fighting around the back. Brother Piner! God's blood! That came out of nowhere! Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? I don't know where he is. Eranor said he was in the chapel. Quick! He may need our help! Indeed, brother. These monks are good people. Oh. Thank you for shutting the gate, Constable. Quite a good job Shoot. you're doing here. <laughs> oh my. Here we are. Just make sure to strike the right ones. Ah. Well done, well, friends. Thank you. Talos. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. I shall go check on it for you, brother. We'll go together. But I fear the worst. Hmm. I fear Perhaps the enemy it was came all here just for the Amulet distraction. of Kings. 
What's like this about? Excuse me. Are you all right? I oh. I Constable, he's not okay. This I guarantee you that much. <sighs> Although I find it quite kind that you would check. Up, up, up. Well? Go ahead. What say you? They've taken it! The Amulet of Kings is gone! The oh. enemy has defeated us at every turn! By the nine. I did find Martin. We have kept him safe for now. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Hmm, they have eyes all around. Is there anywhere where Martin would be safe? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. Hmm, Cloud Ruler Temple. What do you know about it? Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blades, back in the days of Raymond Cyrodiil. It is high in the mountains near Bruma, our ancient fortress, sanctuary, refuge of last resort. Martin will be as safe there as anywhere. Hmm, and if they do find him, hmm, it's not going to be good. I keep running across the, bra the Blades, brother. I, uh did meet a friend, Caius Cassades, in Morrowind, who was a member, and uh, he attempted to recruit me. Have you uh, any information on the Blades? Would you tell me a bit more about them? Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. Hmm. Well, let us go to Cloud Ruler Temple, my, fr my friend. I shall uh, help the Blades as I could not before. I think this will set things right by the gods. We should get moving. I won't Let rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Indeed. And Brother Piner, thank you so much for your help. Brother Martin. Let's continue on to Cloud Ruler Temple. Ah. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Kavach was attacked. Then you, uh, overheard. The good. sooner we reach Cloud Ruler Temple, the better. Lead on. So I suppose it is into the, uh, the cold wastes of the north, friends. I am certainly not looking forward to it. Now that it is looking me in the eye. Ah, Briar Mabarel. The poor fellow. Let us see if we can find Richard. Richard! Oh, he's such a good boy. Always most loyal. Ah, I so I shall meet them, I suppose. At in the north. Bruma. Cloud Ruler Temple. I suppose I should make haste. But largely I've done my part, I think. To remedy the ills that uh, I have caused in large part. Hmm. Still, I should like to see what is uh, what is out that way. It would put me relatively close to Skyrim, which I think is a good idea. Hmm. I wonder if they have hedge wizards in Skyrim. I suppose they are everywhere. Many people ask me, Brandar, what is a hedge wizard? Well, I tell you, it is uh, similar to a hedge knight. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, they are uh, poor people. Mercenaries, as it were. So poor that they sleep under a hedge, I believe, is where that sort of, uh, sort of name comes from. Oh my. Ah. Brother Martin is here still. Wonderful. Well, I was just uh, hoping to stop in here, Brother Martin, and see what lies in the cave. A pillaged mine. Hopefully not too pillaged. Hmm. Greetings to I you. I hope I can help. 
Maybe you can. Would you follow me into this cave? Yes, let us go. Wonderful. Now we have many, many assistants. Pillaged mine shall be pillaged once more. And the goblin. Oh, Father Martin wastes no time. Perhaps he has some uh, treats for me. Ah oh, yes, I must go to the town. I forgot how many how many things I had in my inventory. I'll do this. Yes. That should help considerably. Now can I uh, get rid? Thanks so much. Don't need it. Now I got it. Oh my. And down they go. Ah. Go on. Concentrate on me. Not the mage. Oh, they come from the back. Brother Martin is most capable of healing himself, it seems. Hmm. I do need these lockpicks for a reason I can't yet discern. This is a ruined chest. This is not going to be good. Come on. There we are. And... Ha! Still got it. And some gold. Most good. Now be very silent, Brother Martin must end them before they can detect where we are. Oh. And the knight seems to have gone in headlong, as to be expected. Oh. Am I rest? Doing quite an amount of work. You, you fellows have done quite well for yourselves. I will help myself to the lockpicks, and you can have any, uh arrows and whatnot that you find lying about. That man has a steel shield, steel mace, you might like that, knight. Hmm. Nothing in this ore vein. I must get this chest. Piece of cake. More arrows, more coin. Yes, but this mine has indeed been largely pillaged, I think. What use do I have for most of these things? Battle Axe of Numbing, I cannot even use. Goodbye. Wow. Please watch out for that. <laughs> it's got quite some velocity behind it. I think we have not gone to this part of the cave yet. Hello? Hmm. Another little bit. Oh my. And you! Wow! Down! Oh. oh, you found another little cult enclave. Ah. They do hurt. Not to be trifled with. But I've got friends. I probably could take them by myself, of course, but I do thank you. I have a blade and some spells at my beck and call. Brother Martin did not know that he was uh, going to get so far in here. Mm -hmm. we'll do this and that. Do one more. Wonderful. It's all coming back to me. Hmm. Quite a few interesting items in here. The history of anvil and piracy. Ah. Would you like to have story time, friends? I did find an interesting item. Are you into uh, culture, history, lore? Let us see. Several hundred years ago, during the years of terror, when the Cameron usurper forced himself upon Don's beauty, the western Cyrodiilic town of Anvil was little more than a collection of uncivilized murderers, thieves, and barbarians. 
Criminals and malcontents preyed upon helpless travelers and merchants along the western coast of Tamriel, and an important stopping point for them was the town of Anvil. Well now, Anvil is a town of pristine alabaster and an important trading port, as well as Cyrodiil's only direct access to the Ab Ab Abyssin Sea, it was at one point little more than a collection of yurt huts, with no semblance of order. I almost said yurts, which is uh, the the Dunmer term for it. Eventually, a facade of order sprang up, although it wasn't controlled by the Empire. At this point, Haemon Camoron was ravaging the entirety of Tamriel's west, destroying pristine forests of Aelinwood and spilling blood upon the sands of Hammerfell, preventing the Empire from allocating the necessary resources to combat the increasing pirate threat. By this point, a powerful pirate organization was formed, known as the Red Saber, they continued to terrorize the shipping lanes, bringing destruction and death to all that met them. Their leader was a provocative and vulgar man known as Thordan Ap Drugal. Oh, Dugal, not Drugal. I was thinking of Axe of Dro Drogal. He did have the astounding ability to organize these brigands, and as a result, they proved to be the greatest sea threat to the war against the Usurper. Cyrodiil could no longer bring in supplementary troops and supplies via the seas as the menace continued to rise in the Absian Sea, and it may seem foolish for a group of rough criminals to simply assault Imperial vessels, often under the command of seas and Altmar captains, but fighting the usurper had stretched Imperial lines thin, and large well-defended armadas were simply un unavailable. Finally, after years of exhaustive fighting and a great deal of life lost, the usurper was defeated. With the Imperial Navy already mobilized, the Elder Council thought it would become prudent to secure solid access to the Absian Sea should another conflict arise. A young Commodore was chosen to engage and defeat the bold criminals that plagued the western coast of Tamriel. Fersil Umbronox had shown great deal of skill and bravery during the war with the Usurper, and since his fleet was in the best working condition, he was the one chosen. The initial battles with the numerous pirate ships proved utterly disastrous for the pirates. While they had the experience thieving and pillaging, they had no experience in combat. Conversely, the sailors of Fasil Umbronox had seen plenty of combat and easily brought the criminals to justice under the prevalent waves of the Absian. Umbronox's ultimate goal was to retake Anvil, but he also had to protect the seaways and couldn't pursue this goal immediately. After almost four years of chasing and destroying pirate vessels, Red Saber or not, the Commodore was able to close in on the Black Flag, the supposed ringleader ship in the Anvil Harbor. Incredibly confident, Umbronox transferred over his entire fleet's complements of battle mages to his ship. He then proceeded to enter the harbor and engage the Black Flag alone, his fleet either landing soldiers on shore or holding out in the distant harbor to prevent the pirates' escape. Dugal was confident, but wise enough to know the Commodore's exploits, and attempted to hide rather than fight. Umbronox predicted this, and used the mercurial power of his battle mages to send a large amount of rocks tumbling down the hillside, crushing and destroying Dugal's flagship. All hands were not lost, but this did not sati satiate the self-assured young Commodore, as even though the Red Leader the leader of the Red Saber and most of the fleet and the crews had either been destroyed or brought to trial, Anvil remained a small settlement for malcontents and the scum of society. Having already landed a small force, Umbernox gave the order and burned Anvil to the ground, killing the populace that was unable to flee into the hillsides, where they would never amass into a large enough group to plague the law-abiding citizens of Tamriel ever again. Umbronox was then named Count and began the construction of a proper settlement. The lawful orderly city of Anvil is what sits upon the remains of the burned out villainy today. In a final act of defiance, the seafaring criminals, Umbronox had his castle constructed on top of the rocks that crushed his rival, Tordan Abdrugal. Quite a good book. I'm glad we stopped to read that, friends. I do hope that you have enjoyed. Oh, and there seems to be even more in this mine. Untold treasures. Untold treasures. Or maybe they've all been told. No, here's one more. Here's one more. We can do it. No problem. Two. And then three. Oh, yes. Wonderful. 
One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. <laughs> 